the tools of geometry do a decent job in computing areas and volumes of nice objects. But what if the objects aren't nice? For instance, how do you derive the formula for the volume of a sphere? The regular tools of geometry are incapable of handling such smooth objects. To gain an in-depth understanding of this problem and its solution, we need to understand the difference between the discrete and the continuous. Consider a tap that is just barely open. In this state, you can count the number of drops if you would like to. Get ambitious and open the tap and now we are no longer able to distinguish between the individual drops. If I ask you how much water was ejected when the tap was barely open, then if you were careful and attentive, you would say something like 10 drops. But what if I ask you to tell me the amount of water that came from the second tap? Now you are in a fix. You could give me an answer in the first place because the water was in discrete bundles or drops. Fundamentally, you were able to add up the drops. On the other hand, when the tap was completely open, you were not able to find the fundamental quantity to sum up. The flow of water was continuous. As our mini experiment suggests, we need some sort of a continuous summation tool to handle such situations. To further build our intuition, consider the following example. I will prove that motion doesn't exist in a video. A video is basically a sequence of images displayed one after the other very quickly. Take a look at this one second animation played at 3 pictures per second. Here, you can clearly make out the discrete images behind this video. This is 6 pictures per second. As I increase the speed to 12 frames or images per second, you can see some sort of a motion going on. Finally, when I increase the speed to 24 frames per second, your eyes are no longer able to distinguish between individual images. The time interval between consecutive images is simply too short. You have entered the continuous world. Let's apply the same idea of reducing the gaps between two consecutive images to the open tab scenario. Let's trigger our imaginative superpowers and visualize an infinitely small element of water. With this, we will be able to add up volumes of these small elements because we know that the gap between the elements is so small that it can be comfortably neglected. These infinitesimal elements, the trends in their variations and every other thing nearby forms the basis of a branch of mathematics called as calculus. Calculus is seen in an infinitely many real world situations. The motion of waves, birds, cats, dogs, snails is all continuous and therefore can be studied with the tools of calculus. Finally, you can also analyze the slope of the curvy tilde at various points after you learn calculus. So, may your journey with calculus be a smooth one. Like our videos? Wish to contribute or drop a note? Visit our website or our Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe.